Hey everyone, uh, it's good to good to see you, I guess, by video, <laughs> and uh, miss all of you guys at the church, and uh, miss seeing everybody. It's a dull, dark day here on Friday, but uh, my my spirits are bright, and I hope wherever you are, your spirits are are bright as well. And um, I wanted to read a scripture from Matthew chapter eight, verses twenty three through twenty seven. You'll know the story really well, but. Um, yeah, things that God has kind of been speaking to me over the last couple of days. I want to kind of just share from my heart a little bit about, you know, what these verses speak to me about. So Matthew chapter 8, 23 to 27 says this. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Talking about Jesus, of course. Then Jesus got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. So I, I looked at that scripture, and we know it really well, and uh, I kind of look at it in three three sections and I was speaking to some friends about this the other day and it's kind of on my mind so I wanted to share it with you but there's three kind of sections there's peace there's the present reality and then there's the panic and you know the peace in this story is Jesus he's sleeping he knows what's going on he knows the deal the peace in this story is the anchor is our hope and that's Jesus he's he's asleep the present reality is what the disciples are facing and feeling. They're on a boat. The boat is rocking. There's wind. There's waves. And all around them, there's reason for them to take an assessment of what's going on and face their present reality. But I guess it's how they face their present reality because there's a panic. They're picturing the boat at the bottom of the lake. They're picturing the worst possible scenario. They're picturing not getting home to their families things not being okay in the future. So, you know, just quickly, and, and this is just what's on my heart, is the only way to have that peace that Jesus had sleeping in that boat, because we know he can walk on water. We know he can bring others up to walk on the water as well. That's another parable, and that's for another day. But that's how there's a peace, is we anchor ourselves in that. We anchor ourselves in that peace, that type of peace that he knows the end from the beginning. The present reality doesn't, you know, doesn't look fantastic for the disciples. But if they really trust Jesus and they know he's sleeping, they should be able to go to sleep too. They should be able to rest and go, you know what, we're going to reach the other side. It's the problem of the panic, you know, when we start to talk to each other, when we start to face this present reality and start to catastrophize it, I don't know if that's a real word, but start to look at it and go, this is how bad it's going to get. Um, that's when the panic sets in and not allowing ourselves to get into that spot of, of panic but facing what we really face and grabbing that peace from Jesus is you know what I want to leave you with today hope you're safe I hope you're healthy I hope everything's well in your souls and in your homes and look forward to the time that we can be together talk to you soon